is it going to work? A 10 crystal, 10 megahertz Super VXO. I'm going to connect 10 crystals to see if I can get extended pulling range from a 10 megahertz VXO. If it works, it could allow coverage of much of the 30 meter amateur band. It's in response to some queries after a previous recent video about whether I could get more pulling range with more crystals. First of all though, we'll try five crystals, then move up to 10. Here I've got a one transistor crystal oscillator circuit with five crystals connected. They're on 10.111 megahertz. For now, there's no series inductance. The highest we're getting is 10.120. Go down lower, 10.112. So we're getting about eight kilohertz. With 10 crystals, our lowest frequency is 10.114. Our maximum, a bit of an increase as we went from five to 10 crystals, but I suspect it's a point of diminishing returns. If you added 10 more crystals, I don't think you'll get much more than this. As for keying, it's still pretty good. Now we've got 15 microhenry in series. It's definitely less stable. We can cover the bottom 20 kilohertz of the band, but if you notice the variable capacitor, we're nowhere near maximum capacitance. It even goes down to below 10 megahertz, but this is no frequency standard. Now with a single 4.7 microhenry in series with the 10 crystals, our lowest is about 10.107. And this is keying the supply. And we're getting about 15 kilohertz swing, which is pretty good. And most of the CW end of 30 meters. That's with 10 crystals for 10.111 megahertz and 4.7 microhenry in series with them. To conclude, you can get some great results with multiple crystals in parallel in a Super VXO circuit on bands like 10 MHz. These could be useful for simple QRP transmitter and receiver projects. As I've said previously, with QRP, frequency agility is king. The more band you cover, the more contacts you'll get.